So friends, in this video, let me show you how to restore a lost report. Assume you removed or delete a report by mistake or for some reason in your SSRS report server or Power BI report server, I mean the paginated report and you would like to get it back. Assuming you have your database backup with you, let's see how to restore the report back. Well, we can even upload the report from dev environment. But what if the source report is not available for some other reason? And you would like to restore one individual report in report server. Let's see. And this is Sai, Sai Fanindra from SQL School. And we are more into Microsoft technologies, including MSBI, Power BI, and Azure Data Engineer. And let's get straight into our actual concept on how to restore a particular report. Well, let me launch SSMS and connect to my instance, the database engine instance that hosts your database, the report server database. Here it is. And my reports are available here. And assume for some reason, report number nine is deleted. Before I actually delete the report, let's take a backup of the report server, the ongoing, the existing report server. It's a regular full backup. Generally, as a part of your company policy, generally there would be a maintenance plan that takes care of the full backup. I'll take my RSDB backup. Let's take a regular full backup for now. Right, you got a full backup ready. And assume for some reason the entire database is lost. Okay, assume for some reason entire database is lost. Or, or a particular report is lost. Let me just delete one particular report. Assume now two scenarios. Scenario one, complete report server database lost. We directly restore. Or what if one particular report is lost? Come on. Yes, so here we go. Go to the backend database. And here, there is one important table that we need to remember called catalog table select from the catalog table and here it is this catalog system table gives us the list of all the reports here it is friends see there report 9 is missing right for example let's delete report number eight for some example for learning purpose okay let's learn this way now execute and here report eight is missing now so this means the reports we see in the report server interface right the web portal the portal interface these reports are actually sourced from the back end Report server database catalog table. That is the actual concept now. Well, I'll show you how to restore it now. You can do the same even for shared data source and shared data sets also, including the KPI reports or the mobile reports, any item in report server. Well, so what I did, I got a backup of the database. And after I perform backup of the database, say I removed one or two reports. Now, how to get it back? Simple and straight. Right click restore database. Right click database restore and device. And here we need to add that particular device, the RS backup. Click OK. 
and I'll take it as for example test I don't want to disturb my existing live report server database leave it as it is I'll give it onto a different database and we know database involves files right physically database collection of minimum two files your data file and log file so I'll give a different location for now I'll restore it as test2 anyway we are going to do the cleanup operation log2 so entirely a different database anyway it's not a worry for us with respect to the space because the reports our database is going to store the report items right not the actual enterprise data right only the report definitions so let's continue I'll just restore the database and now yep we'll be able to find one new database here let's wait for a few moments we'll get one database or alternatively we can also restore just yes, cancel there alternative option to restore restore database I'll say for example SSRS test DB from disk equal to the location maybe your network path or local path or whatever so right now in my case it is a backup right the RSDB backup with the recovery and before that I'll move two files because we are creating a test copy let's get the file names of the current database so select star from these files and we get the file names so move the report server file to a different location of your choice to for example e colon rs test data dot mdf and same way this rs log to maybe e or f drive or any location any location of your choice ldf okay comma recovery either user interface or script it's entirely a different uh, database so it gets restored now right so database is restored successfully as a test in this particular test database remember we backed up this database before removal of before the loss of your actual reports right we restored a backup such backup which was taken before the loss of your reports so the reports are available report 8 report 9 now simple and straight all we do is here in the catalog you see something called content here it is something called content I'll just put this way I'll copy and here I'll say name comma content these are the two columns of our interest name comma content now this is a regular content binary content so I'll convert to XML yes hope you know that every report would be stored in RDL right report definition language it is actually a special incarnation of XML nothing else okay RDL is a special type of XML truly speaking technically when we see the format that I'm talking about now so here you can put your alias or anything I'm showing for one particular or report server environment so these are all the XML activities yes so what is missing right now in my report server let me refresh we are missing report 8 report 9 right 
Yes, report 8, report 9 go missing. Yes, we are able to successfully restore the database and we are able to get the access to the XML. Click and we see the XML file. Now, save the XML file. Where? On to some location of your choice. I'll say my desktop and SSRS reports. Give some location, any location, and this is for the particular report we are talking about. Say, for example, report 8. Report 8 XML. Same way, this one, right click save, right on top of the header, you save, and this would be report 9 and XML. Well, we are ready, almost done. All we do is go to those reports, that report 8, report 9. I'm giving an example here. Edit. File, save as. You can also load the XML files to your SSDT or report builder environment. Simple say rdl okay open the report and save it as rdl save it that's it you are done you got the report ready i repeat edit file save as and 9 dot rdl we need to force the extension so give it in double quotes this will do the trick and your reports are ready what next upload simple so you restored the database from there we queried we perform a query to get the xml content of the report from the catalog table we open the report xml save it as rdl and that's it you are done come on test it now Click on the report. Just give a click on the report. It's still loading. And after a few moments, the same report that we are talking about right now, yes, it will be giving us the actual report. Let's wait for a few moments. Let's hold on. It would take some time depending on the amount of data and the report. Yes, here is a report now. I repeat again just in case okay I always love to give a revision so I'll take two examples upload the report report 9 you can also test it locally from report builder or SSDT any other environment and that's how it goes well so what we did friends just in case okay let me give the synopsis all we did is firstly Assuming you have prior backup of the database as a part of your maintenance plans in your production environment, what we did? Remove report from the report server or web portal URL. Simply say from the web portal URL. I removed the report. Then what next? restore the backup as a new or test database because you would like to only recover the report then what next query catalog table for name and content content columns convert content column to XML format and here is the small query this one you can put alias or you can write it in a cursor or give some dynamic representation for your name or dynamic uh, condition for reporting a name uh, given a particular report name get the respective XML content it's up to you I'm just giving you the base idea on how it actually works once we get it, what next? Click on the XML output. 
we see one XML file in SSMS, this one, something like this. Right? Then save it to your required location. What next? Save as again edit in Notepad or Notepad plus plus anywhere. Save as as RDL file. Then upload to the report server. Nothing but the URL, your web portal URL. That's it, you are done. Well, hope you found it useful. In case, in case, if you find any issue while you are implementing this, do let me know. And I am always available for your technical questions in this aspect. Thank you friends, have a nice time.